In this lesson, we answer one more question. To differentiate the following function from first principles, and the function is y is equal to x power 4. This is differentiation, and we know that dy over dx is equal to limit as h tends to 0 of the function at x plus h minus the function at x divided by h. You close the bracket. The relationship is y is equal to x power 4. So to get the value of y, we take the value of x, we raise it to power 4. So if x changes, because y depends on x, y also changes. First of all, we are going to get that change, and we say that y plus a small change in y, which is h, is equal to x plus a small change in x, and this one is raised to 4. So this is the new value of y, and that is the new value of x after x has changed by a small value h. So use binomial theorem to expand this one. So you can say that uh, x plus h raised to 4 is equal to x power 4 plus 4 x power 3 times h plus 6 x power 2 h power 2 plus 6, supposed to be 4, so we add 4 plus 4, x raised to 1, h is raised to 3, then we add h raised to 4. We do that substitution into our differentiation from first principles, and we get dy over dx is equal to limit as h tends to 0 of f of x plus h is our expansion. That is x power 4 plus 4 x power 3 h plus 6 x power 2 h power 2 plus 4 x h power 3 plus h power 4. Then you are supposed to subtract the function at x. The function at x is y is equal to x power 4. So we subtract here x power 4. Then we divide all this by h. Then we close that bracket. We are almost somewhere. Now we are going to subtract this x from that x we remain with 0. So that dy over dx is equal to limit as h tends to 0 of, if you work this one out, this will cancel that one out because one is positive, the other one is negative. When you do that, you remain with 4x cubed times h, we add 6, add 6 times x squared multiplied by h squared, we add 4, you can write this one in blue, we have 4x h cube plus, now we have h power 4, so we can write this one in the same color, remove that one, then we have 4x h cube, we add h power 4. So we have h power 4. And this, we are dividing all of it by h. Then we close our bracket here. From there, we are going to simplify. Where h is, we divide it out. But first of all, let us split each of the terms into fractions. So we have limit as h 
tens to zero of, we split this one into a fraction. So we have four x cube. We are dividing this one by h. We add, this one is six x squared times h squared divided by h. Then we add 4x. We have 4x times h cube divided by h. And lastly, we have, we add here h power 4. This is h power 4 divided by h. After which we close the bracket here. When you divide it out, what do you get? H cancels out H, you remain with limit as H tends to zero of this part alone, we remain with four X cube because we have divided that H out. This will cancel out that one. This will cancel this one once then this will cancel that one twice, and this will cancel that one three times. When you do that, what do we remain with? We have four x cubed, we add six x squared times h. Multiply that by h, then we add, we have four x, h remains as h squared, so we have h squared, we add h cube. So the last one is h cube, then we close the bracket. Close the bracket. Now we are going to split each of those with the distribution of that limit into each of them. So this becomes limit as h tends to zero of the first term here is 4x cube. So we have 4x cube. We close that bracket. Then we add 6x squared. So we have limit. So we can have that as limit h tends to 0 of. So this is 6x squared times h times h. Then we close that bracket. And we have also the next term as we add limit as h tends to zero of, put this one now into the limit, 4x multiplied by h squared. Then we close that bracket and put the last term. So this one is we add limit as h tends to 0 of, last term is h cube. So this is h cube, and you close that bracket. Where h exists, we replace it with 0, and where x does not have h, we put it outside and treat it as a whole number. So this one is equal to this part here. There is no h. So it remains as 4x cube. The rest of the other terms will be a 0. Because if you replace h with 0, the whole of that term becomes 0. You replace this one with 0, the rest of the term comes to 0. Then replace that one with 0, that term becomes 0. So this is 4x cube. We add 0 for this term. We add 0 for that term and we add zero for the last term. If you add zeros to 4x cubed, it doesn't change. So we are going to remain with a derivative of x. dy over dx is equal to 4x cubed, and that's what we get from first principles. Remember also that we can differentiate the same function in the ordinary way. Remember that if you have a function y is equal to x raised to n, then you can get the derivative in the normal way. We have dy over 
dx is equal to, bring that n down and have to be multiplied there, get x power n, reduce that n by 1. In our case, we have y is equal to x power 4 and n is 4, so we have dy over dx is equal to, bring 4 down, pre multiply there, get x raised to 4 minus 1, and this gives us 4x cubed. We get the same result if we differentiate it from first principles. And any other question can be done in a similar way. You combine a few other items here and there, then you come up with the question. Thank you very much for listening, and keep watching. You can subscribe to our channel, give us feedback on how we should progress. Thank you very much.